My name is Ed Kenny, and I am a <clears throat> common energy rep down in Baltimore, Maryland area. And, uh, you know, just a quick story. I'm an entrepreneur. I always have been uh, since the beginning of my real work career. And about almost a year now, uh, we were introduced to the founder and CEO of Common Energy. And I was extraordinarily impressed with what this gentleman had put together as I'd been in the energy space for about 10 years. And I always been looking for the right product, the perfect product. I'd like to call it the perfect product. And everything I looked at kind of fell short for one reason or another. And um, all of a sudden, you know, a year ago, Chance Meeting uh, introduced to Richard Kaiser, founder and CEO here. Um, I saw that he had put something together that made total sense to me. It was regulated, safe, guaranteed, everything you wanted to have with a renewable energy product. And uh, it just made sense to me. So at that point in time, I called a few people that I knew and asked them if they would want to be involved in a pilot program where we could test out and see how the functionality worked and all that. And uh, the pilot went beautifully. And then uh, about uh, December of this past year um, of 2019, we started to really look at this thing as rolling it out uh, for a nationwide <clears throat> run as the company grows. Um, we can grow right with it. So we put together an amazing program. I'm going to share it with you today. And hopefully you're impressed with it as I was a year ago. And we've come a long way, believe you me. So uh, let's get on with the presentation. I'm going to go ahead and uh, it's going to take about probably 35 minutes of your time. Um, I really appreciate you spending your time with me today to learn about Common Energy. So thanks for meeting with us. Um, I'll tell you about the, the new program that enables you to lower your emissions and save money for 20 years for free. It's guaranteed, state run, save money 20 years free. That's a beautiful thing right to start with. Um, <clears throat> you can you know, share you know, why I'm passionate about this program is because economics makes sense to me and doing something that's good for the environment is always a good thing to do. But when you can uh, also tie that into saving people money and the economics make sense, that's, there's, there's no reason not to do it. It's a, it becomes a no brainer. So it's really helping our local communities, local states, making a difference, saving people money and helping the environment. So a little bit about common energy, you know, work with official state programs. That's, that's the beauty of this, of this program is working with the states to support the clean energy and guarantee the savings for the individuals that live in the state. <laughs> We're registered right now. We're live in three different states, which is going to be an exciting kind of thing to talk about today. Um, we're live in New York, Maryland, and now Illinois. Um, we're registered with the public service commissions of each of those uh, different states, and we work with the states to roll out this program. Um, we've won several awards for our clean energy work that we've done, um, serving thousands of customers already across New York and Maryland and now Illinois. Um, we contributed a portion of our profits to local nonprofits, including the United Way, Adirondack Mountain Club, and <clears throat> Solarize Albany, uh, One Tree Planted, just to name a few. So we're a give back company as well. So the New York's program enables us to lower emissions and save money along with Maryland and Illinois, but you can go to any of the state websites, the government sites, and you can look up search community solar and you can kind of see what they're talking about. Anyone in the area can access clean energy produced by these solar panels and get credit towards their electricity bills. Um, clean energy credits, no brainer. Here's in Maryland, go to the Public Service Commission website. You can see community solar customers are expected to see some savings on their electric bill and all millionaires will benefit from the clean energy options. So all the states, we have a minimum of 10% guaranteed savings. Just so you know, some states have caveats for even more savings. Um, clean energy and savings. And now, Illinois. Uh, we just launched in Illinois about uh, two weeks ago, and now we're pretty full-fledged. Um, you know, we can participate in the community solar projects there um, and save money and get clean energy. It's the best of both worlds. So <clears throat> here's... If you go to our website, all right, and you will have, if you decide this is something you want to do, you'll get your own personalized website. It's a replicated site. 
but it has a map of where we are and the states that are coming soon. So we've been in New York and Maryland, and now we just launched into Illinois, which is exciting. So if you look, you can see the utilities there. And if you go to any of the states, put in your zip code, it'll show you your utility, you click on it, and then it'll assign you to the project. But right now we're in three states, but the vision is obviously a lot bigger than that long-term. But by signing up with Common Energy, you're gonna receive guaranteed savings on your electricity bill each month for 20 years, okay? Um, you're gonna make a positive impact on your community by lowering pollution. You're gonna support local clean energy, local jobs. These solar farms are directly located in your state. They're not in a faraway state on a wind farm with re renewable energy certificates. These are actually clean energy projects that are planted in the backyards, uh, agricultural, typically large land lots. Um, the sign up for free, you, it doesn't cost anybody to become a customer of ours. There's no cancellation fees. It's a 20 year contracted benefit of savings, but there's no cancellation fees. If someone were to leave, someone were to move or whatever the purpose. Um, there's no impact on third party energy agreements. So if you're in New York, if you're in Maryland, uh, doesn't matter who your third party energy supplier is. Everything stays exactly the way it is. If you're with a third party supplier you really like right now, nothing changes. That relationship stays the same. If you sell third party energy, nothing changes. You still have your third party energy customer and now you'll have a common energy customer as well. Uh, the only state that that's different in is Illinois, okay? Because the state law requires that the customer must be with the actual utility instead of a third party that has to be on the default service. So if you're a third party supplier um, and, and you sell that, um, just know that in Illinois, you, you probably beneficial to talk to the customers that are not already your customers um, because you know, unfortunately in that state has created this, uh, this little challenge. <laughs> So community solar is, it's a new type of clean energy. And what it's really designed for is scalability. You know, it's a win-win. You got these farmers that maybe pass along land to their, to their, uh, the next of kin. They don't want to farm it anymore. They don't want to sell it. Uh, they can't afford to pay the taxes and the property taxes. So it's big, big land and perfect timing for the solar developers to come in and negotiate with them, get long-term leases on the land, preserving the land for at least 20 years and paying off the taxes and creating a little income for the folks that own the land. Instead of farming corn, you're basically farming solar energy, uh, electrons. So the beautiful thing about that is very no maintenance for the land owner, but the community developers, they, they're the ones that take care of the project and make sure it's all running and operational. So if you've ever driven down a highway, uh, you know, you've probably actually looked at some point and seen a huge field as far as the eye can see with solar panels, now you kind of know what that is. It's a community solar project that anybody who lives in that utility uh, zone, the footprint can actually plug into that farm and have their energy credited from the farm. It's a perfect solution. Um, a lot of folks can't get solar on their house or they rent, they can't get solar credit or whatever purpose, this, this, this is a perfect solution for that. <laughs> So the customers will always know what the size of the farms are, um, the clean energy that it will provide over the long term, the emissions that it will uh, eliminate. Um, installed on a, on a rooftop, we can do commercial buildings, but it's more complicated. We typically are doing fields right now. Um, it connects directly to the electric grid. So as soon as the farm's created, it locks right into the utility grid and the energy flows there. Uh, clean energy from the projects replaces fossil fuel generation, lowering pollution in our communities, literally locally. Uh, nothing to install and enrollment is 100% digital and 100% free. Anyone with an electricity account, including renters, can sign up and save money. So how it works, you know, step one, you sign up with Common Energy for free. You, you as a rep would get a, your own replicated website. You would send that to a prospective customer educate them about it. <clears throat> they would go onto your website, click on enroll for free. Next step is we connect your account to the solar project. They put in their utility information. Third step is you receive the clean energy credits on your electric bill. And the fourth step is you save 10% every month for 20 years. Guaranteed. Boom. Done. Contracted savings uh, with no cancellation and no fees. Beautiful thing. Now, 
in Maryland, um, 10%, like all of our states is what you're gonna get uh, and minimally. But in Maryland, if you're considered to be low to moderate income, which I'll explain, um, the state program has put aside a portion of each of these farms for LMI or low to moderate income households uh, to give them 25% guaranteed savings over the full 20 years. Um, they do have to qualify for that. They have to prove that they're in, in that kind of LMI uh, income range. So you can see there's a chart over to the right and all you'd really need to do is look at the moderate income chart. As long as the income's under that with the amount of people that are in the household, then you would qualify. Uh, but there's easy ways to automatically qualify too. If anybody's in any kind of energy assist or SNAP, Medicare, Head of Head Start, any of these type of programs that they have, all they need to do is take a picture of the program, a card that they have and send it up and they're automatically in. They have to qualify one time and then that's it. They never have to qualify again. So each month, a clean energy credit will appear on your utility bill, lowering your energy costs. So if you see an old bill here, you'll see that uh, one line item changes on the bill. It says community net metering adjustment. It'll be the credit. <clears throat> um, so that's your clean energy credit. And then you get a statement of savings. But here's an example of what happens. 90% of your annual usage. So the, the, the company, when, you, when they enroll, they find out what you're using per year energy-wise to know how much of the farm to allocate to you. But all of a sudden, let's say it's July, the sun's really beaming down and creating lots of energy, creates $200 energy credit. Well, the credit cost to the customer is $180. It's exactly 10% less than what the credit is. So I'm buying $200 worth of energy credits for $180. There's my 10% savings, okay? Your savings is $20. Then in January, uh, the farm doesn't create as much energy as it would in July because the, you know, the sun is not at the right place for maximum production. Uh, your, your part of the farm generates $100 energy credit. Um, it costs you $90 for that. Your savings is 10. No matter what, every month, whatever the energy credit is, you're paying 10% less for it, hence saving 10%. And all of that is done seamlessly because when you get the credits and all the stuff with the bill in common, you're just paying one bill to Common Energy and they're taking care of all the minutia behind the scenes. So instead of paying your utility, you're gonna actually pay a lower amount every month to Common Energy. And they're gonna give you what's called the statement of savings, which in this case is gonna show you what your original bill amount was and would have been without Common Energy. And then it's gonna show you what your credit is Okay, and then it's going to show you what the lower amount is. So instead of paying $149.02, you're actually now going to pay $135.81. So you're saving that money and you're also having a positive impact on the environment. So with Common Energy, you're also eliminating your electric bill entirely by, um, by being able to just go in to your Common Energy portal every month if you want, whatever you want you can see a dashboard of your account. It's gonna show you the amount of kilowatts that were credited to your account, the you know, environmental impact measured in, in CO2, um, how much your savings are to date and how much your estimated savings are gonna be over the 20 year period. Um, you're gonna see all of that information. You're also gonna be able to access your original bill from the utility every month. They'll have a PDF here of what your utility bill would have been. So it's very transparent. It's very easy to navigate. Um, and it's pretty cool stuff. Plus, they have a referral program. So your customers could actually go out there and click the referral button, put in their email address or, or you know, social media, post it out there saying, hey, I signed up for Community Solar. I think you should too. Here's the benefits. Customer signs up for it and you, you, your customer gets $50 and the new customer gets $50 credit. So it's pretty cool. And you as a rep would also benefit from that because it's part of our compensation plan. So the sign up process is very simple. It's very non-complicated. I've talked to customers and like, oh, solar, I don't know. I got to get all these installations and stuff. I'm like, nope, has nothing to do with that. It's a solar field far, far away. You're just enrolling online digitally and you're receiving all the benefits that you would as if it was on your roof. So you go to the replicated website, check availability, put in your zip code, choose your utility, first name, last name, email, boom. Next page is gonna show you exactly what farm you're gonna be matched up with. 
So it's going to actually identify the actual farm that you're going to be participating in, which is a really cool thing because it kind of connects you to the project. And then here's where you put in your utility information, which is really important to enroll. You have to have a utility username and password so that common can sync together with the actual utility company. If you don't have that or your customer doesn't have that, it's easy to get. You just click on the button and say, get my utility account. You put in a couple pieces of information and you create an account and then you put in your credentials. The next step is step three is how you're going to pay for it. Okay. Common energy does has, great ability to give these savings back to the customers. And that's because they run a very efficient organization. They're a technology company. So they don't take checks. They don't take cash for payments for the utility. The only way they'll take it is through an automatic direct debit. Okay. There's three ways that they can get the income or the money coming for your electricity bill every month. First one is through an ACH, which is pretty easy. You set it up one time, you're done. Company gives you $25 credit for just signing up with the ACH. The next one is a bank link where you'd click here, all your logos from the major banks will show up. You click on your bank, put in your username and password, connect the accounts, you're done. You get a $25 credit for doing that. The third way is a credit card option. Someone can use their credit card to pay for their electricity uh, every month. And um, if they do that, the only downside to that is they pay 2.9% merchant processing fee that's charged by the merchant, not by common. But what that does in essence is it takes a great 10% savings, brings it down to about 7.1%. So it's still great, but it's not the 10%. So obviously the first two options are the best for the customer, uh, for yourself, if you're, if you're a common energy customer. Um, a lot of times, uh, you know, I'll bump into this when I'm, sign when I'm enrolling someone, they'll say, hey, you know, I don't feel comfortable giving out my banking information. I say, no problem, just do a credit card. And for the first billing cycle, you'll see how it works. You'll feel comfortable with it. And by the time you're, that's done, you'll call the company and sign up for ACH. They'll still give you the $25 credit. And, uh, but now you'll know that it's you know, totally cool and how it all works and everything like that. So sign up, you know, I say when I, when I call customers, um, I say, hey, I got this great program, uh, this community solar program, and they have a solar farm right now in East Fishkill, Central Hudson, Gas and Electric. Uh, for, um, and uh, the project size is, you know, it's a good for about, uh, you know, 500 homes. Um, and it's going to be this for the environment, 4.4 million kilowatts. It's going to be prevented emissions of 3.3 million libs, pounds. And by signing up, what you're going to get is you're going to get a savings of 10% each month for 20 years. You're going to prevent uh, 100,000 pounds of carbon emissions from going into the environment. It's the equivalent of planting 200 trees. You make a positive impact on your community and there's limited spots. So I want to get, get you on this farm before it fills up and closes out. So it's a great kind of, uh, you know, pitch for people because, you know, there are, we, we have one of the best programs and all the developers want to partner with Common to get subscribers and manage those subscribers. So we have really an unlimited inventory supply coming online with new partners and new farms all the time. But when these farms close out, they're closed, they start to roll the credits and all those people that are on start to save right away. Uh, and, and if they miss that farm, they might have to go to another farm. It could be six months before they start seeing the benefits. Um, so, you know, I, I kind of use that as a way to say, come on, get on the farm before it's gone. You get your own website and customers sign up through that. So I want to talk to you now and kind of shift gears a little bit into the compensation aspect of, of common energy. A lot of people out there are looking for ways to make extra money. There's a lot of people that are looking for new careers. Believe you me, there's about 30 million people that have lost their jobs in one way or another over the last couple months because of this whole pandemic. So, you know, working from home seemed like such a far concept, foreign concept for so many for so long. Now it's kind of more real being able to kind of do something from home to generate extra income, whether it's part-time, a couple hours a week to really, you know, get you to where you want to go with your full-time job. Um, or it could be a full-time career for people. There's lots of people that are coming into this saying, wow, I really get this. I want to do this. So, you know, you're going to get paid one way or another, whether it's part-time, full-time, whatever you want it to be, it will be for you. But, you know, if you look, 40 million Americans have filed for unemployment during the pandemic. 
and the real jobless rate is actually 23.9%. You know, talk to me three months ago, it was down less than 5%. It's crazy what's happened. And so really unfortunate. Um, work from home is dead. Uh, long live work from anywhere. I mean, you literally with a computer, knowing what you know now and how to use Zooms and all that kind of stuff, it's easy to get someone on a Zoom for 15 minutes and say, hey, let me show you what, what we got and how you can benefit from it. It's a state program. Um, what's not to love about that? So, you know, community solar has truly been a ray of hope in the time of gloom. I mean, solar developers have been able to continue the development, you know, um, and, and people who are working from home can pick up their phone and call their friends, family, relatives, contacts, and really talk to them about this great program that can save them money in a time where everybody's looking for any way to save. So common energy is growing really fast right now. Um, it's, it's kind of ironic, you know, uh, this business and this industry is actually exploding with growth because it's got an amazing service. It's got top, top brass leadership. It's the perfect timing for this and it's extremely lucrative income wise. We've got an amazing company that's committed to serving the public. Our founder and CEO is right there in the middle, Richard Kaiser. We've got a great group of executives that work with him um, alongside him. You can kind of see all the people that are here. They're a Cracker Jack team. They keep it very tight. They, that enables them to give as much savings as they can back to the customers. So we have a great board of directors. Take a screenshot of this. Look any one of these people up. You'll be blown away by who is actually on the board of this company and who's behind uh, the scenes uh, making this really happen in a big way. Um, pretty awesome group of individuals. This is our footprint right now as we speak, and it will continue to grow and turn blue in the future. It's a couple of fun facts here. Um, you know, through 2019, there were 40 states with at least one community solar project happening. Um, 2,000 cumulative megawatts are the equivalent of 411,000 customers. In New York alone, New York State, uh, 600 megawatts or 6,000 megawatts in the next five years, which is the equivalent of 1.2 million customers. All right. So in New York right now, we might have 100,000 customers, if that. Um, think about the growth that is in just that one state alone. Uh, and then you start to amplify that to a nationwide map because every single state is going to be going community solar. There's no question about it. It's the scalable solution for making a lot of change happen quickly. So let's get to the pay scale. How do we get compensated at Common? And um, it is a two-tiered affiliate plan. It's not a network marketing plan. It's an affiliate plan. I want to share with you how that works. It's designed to compensate individual performers and compensation for leadership for people that want to develop a team. Okay. So here's an example of a very small home or apartment. Um, you know, one home or apartment, you enroll it, takes you five minutes. You look at their last 12 months history, they use 10,000 kilowatts. Well, whatever they use per year, 90% of that is allocated to the farm, okay? So 10,000 kilowatts that they use, 90% is allocated to the farm, that would be 9,000 kilowatts. And then you are the consultant or what's called the originator if you got the customer, okay? So you're gonna be paid out as a commission rate of 0.0144 on 9,000 kilowatts. And that would be a total commission of $129.60. Okay, so five minutes of time, $129.60 for a very small, small house or apartment, okay? If you start to get bigger customers, like big houses, um, it's all based on how many kilowatts they use. So you just continue to times the 0 0.0144 by the number on their bill of how much they use in the last 12 months, and you can calculate your commissions. But then if you bring someone else on board, that's what we do here on Wednesdays. We're using this as a way to share the opportunity with as many people as possible, okay? To get other people involved on your team. So it's as easy as saying, hey, found a great way to make some extra money. Come on 12 o'clock noon on Wednesday, listen to what they say and make sense, great, let's do it. So if they sign up in your business, they would be considered your tier one consultant. And if they went out and they got a house, 10,000 kilowatts, um, they would make the, they would be the consultants, right? They would make the, the uh, $130, but 
but you would get an override of 130, or I'm sorry, $32 and 40 cents. So just by introducing them to the business, they get customers, you get an override, but then it continues on another level called tier two. Okay. So if you're, if you're, consultants go out there and get other consultants, you also get an override there. Uh, on that equivalent customer, you would get $21.60. But all of a sudden, imagine if you bring on 10 or 15 people, they're all getting customers and they're all bringing on other people, you can start to make some real money uh, based on helping to manage that team and inspiring them and growing with them. You can also go out and get customers all the time and make the originator commission. So it's great for individual performers and people who want to grow a team and lead. There's also what happens, people say, what happens after tier two? You know, does everything happen? I just don't get compensated on? No. Everything that happens goes into what's called a global pool. Okay. This gets paid out quarterly. So all the money that's accumulating in the global pool company wide gets shared every quarter to the shareholders. Okay. And I'll explain how that works on the next slide. But you can see, um, you can sign up today, go out there. First thing you want to do is get three customers and then you're able to, you're qualified to start enrolling other reps. Okay. You need three customers to enroll other reps. The referral program, let's say you go out and get a bunch of customers and those customers go into their back office and they see the referral tool and they start to share it with mom, dad, sister, brother, uncle, aunt saying, Hey, you got to get into this community solar. You remember they get $50, the new customer gets $50, but $50 also goes into the compensation plan and you get a portion of that. You can remember that's, that's a referral. That's someone that you would have never known. Um, it could happen a hundred levels deep and you're still going to get compensated, whether it's through the global pool or whether it's through let, tier two, one or originator. Um, so the viral nature of what can happen here is that customers could just be coming in left and right just from the referral program and you're still making money on that uh, every single time. So the more you build, the more lucrative it becomes long term as we grow nationwide. Here's an example here um, at the bottom of just larger homes. Like my home, for example, my home's about 30,000 kilowatts, but if it was 25,000, uh, instead of a commission of $130 as the originator, I would get 324. So it takes the same amount of time to sign up my house as it does to sign up a small home or an apartment, but the commission is, you know, almost three times the amount. It's based on kilowatt usage. So you can kind of just do the math on all that. Whatever the customer is using per year, you plug that number in and you find out what your compensation is on originator, tier one or tier two and global pool. So the global pool, how does one accumulate shares in the global pool? Well, if you get a customer and you're the originator for every one customer that you get, you get two shares. Okay. If you bring in a consultant uh, on your tier one, they get a customer, they get two shares. You would get one share. Okay. Cause it's on your tier one and tier two, you would accumulate a half a share. And then anything that happens past tier two would be a quarter of a share unlimitedly. So at the end of a quarter, you're going to take all the shares that are in your business between your personal customers, tier one, tier two, and global, add them all up, and then divide it by the amount of money that's in the pool, and you'll get your quarterly bonus for being in the, um, in, in the quarterly pool. So the qualifications for the global pool is three personal customers, okay, or 15 team customers that are accumulated in your tier one or tier two per quarter. You don't wanna miss these global pools. The first global pool that we are gonna pay is gonna be in July. And it's gonna be for when we started the program mid-February um, and it, uh, we, we opted to roll that first pool into the actual first payout, which is the first after the first full, full quarter. And uh, that's gonna be pretty lucrative. So everyone has an opportunity to be in that pool now. Uh, they got to get three customers by the end of this month and they're in the pool with at least six, six shares. Um, but those who, those who are building are accumulating shares in multiple different ways. Um, so just an example of how it works, you know, let's say you're the originator and you get five sales a month, right? Which five sales a month is not a difficult thing to do. If you focus on it for even an hour a week, you can get five sales 
uh, a month. Okay, so uh, if we're doing the average small tiny house of 10,000 kilowatts, we like to keep expectations, you know, just really low um, because, you know, 99% there's going to be a massive upside to this. So you go out and get five customers in a month, you're going to make about $648 in compensation and you're going to have 10 shares. Then if you bring on four consultants on your tier one, they all go out and get five customers every month. Now you've got 20 sales in your tier one, you're going to make about $648 uh, in, in income that month. And you're also going to have 20 shares. Okay. Uh, tier two, you've got now those four brought in four and they all went out and got five customers. Now you got 80 sales happening in your tier two. You can see what happens to the regular compensation. It's $1,728 and you didn't get any of those customers. That's the benefit of building a team. And you also got 40 shares. Okay. Um, and then from that point on, tier three and below, let's just call it 64 people with 320 uh, sales. That's another 80 shares. So now you've got a total of 150 shares in the global pool. Your regular compensation for that month is $3,024. Your global pool portion is $1,050. And your referral, um, get some referrals from your customers, another $700 your total of $4,774 in a month. And that's an additional $57,288 a year in extra income. And that's literally doing this very part-time. There's people that are already doing this full-time and dwarfing these numbers. So it's pretty exciting. When you first get started with Common, they give you seven days to get your first three customers and to earn what's called the fast start bonus, okay? So if your average customer is the $130 a piece, you got $390 in regular commission, plus all the shares and the global pool and stuff. But then if you get the three customers in the first week, they give you another 150. So there's $540 that somebody, anybody can go out there and get very easily today. That you could get three customers in the next hour if you wanted to. Pretty cool stuff. Um, with this, what do you get when you become a rep? Well. You get all the training that you could possibly want. You get a personalized portal that tracks all your personal customers and all your team customers and everything that you need. You get the sales materials that you can just go in. They're already customized. You can use them to send out electronically or print and hand out. Pretty awesome looking stuff. Um, the company sends you your replicated link and you're now live. You can start getting customers. That's when your seven day clock starts. As soon as you get that link emailed to you. Boom, you're ready to go get those three customers as quickly as possible. Um, so we have all these tools. There's a one minute video for those who, you know, have the ability to call someone up and say, I'm going to send you a one minute video. I want you to look at it. And then I want to have a conversation with you about it afterwards. It's a new program. It's a new New York state program, new Maryland state program, new Illinois program, whatever state you're in. Okay. They watch it. You call them up, say, awesome program, 10% guaranteed savings, 20 years for your electric. Let's get you signed up. It's going to take five minutes. That's how simple this is. Um, but let, let, let me just warn you on this note. Um, it's very simple to educate a customer and get them signed up. But if you just send your link to people and say, hey, really cool program, sign up. It's awesome. You save 10%. You'll never get customers that way. It just doesn't work because they get in, they start the enrollment process, they get to the point where they have to sync up their utility, they don't have their account number, their you know, username and password, and they say, oh, I'll get to this later, and they just never get to it. Or they get to the payment screen and they say, why do they need my credit card? Why do they need my banking information? I don't know enough about this, I better research it. They just, they're, they're not gonna take full action with any kind of not knowing any, something, right? So by you helping navigate them through that enrollment process, that's when you're able to kind of confront those objections of like, why do they need my banking information? You're able to talk to them logically and reasonably about it. And they say, okay, that makes sense. Boom. They're a customer. You're done. It's just my best advice. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, the, the whole goal here is to get signed up and I'll go through what you need to do to do that. Um, but, your, your fast start page, it's, it's a one pager. And if you follow these instructions, you'll get your three customers in your first two hours 
no doubt about it. And uh, you'll make that $540 right away. And, and that's really kind of a minimum of $540. Most customers I've seen are about 12 to 15,000 on average kilowatts per year. So it's greater than this. But you set the appointment. You know, you reach out to someone via text or something. I'll show you a couple examples. Sit down with them through Zoom um, or get them on the phone. Describe the opportunity and then close them complete the sign up process with them. Don't just leave it to them to, uh, to their own devices because people just procrastinate about everything. So they have one question, they're not gonna do it. So be there with them. It's not a lot of time for the amount of money that you're gonna be paid. Um, and then at that point, re get referrals. You know, ask them, hey, do you know anybody else that would benefit from this? Do you have any sisters or brothers? You know, when somebody knows about something that nobody else knows about it, and it's really beneficial to have the information, they really want more people to know about it. And they want to be the person that gives them that information because it's a cool thing to be in the know on a program that really is beneficial. But success equals list equals outreach, right? You know, the people that sit down and put a list together, they go, hey, John, you got a sec, need to run something past you, text. That's an easy thing, everybody can do it. I know for a fact that everybody can do that. Pick 20 people, just do that to them. Hey, John, you got something you wanna run past you? Or hey, got a second, need to run something past you. When can be in front of, in front of your computer for 10 minutes? If you send 20 of those things out, you're gonna get people start to come back to you saying, okay, I can do it at three or I'm busy right now. Can you try me tomorrow? Whatever, you'll build a pipeline of activity and then voila, you'll get an opportunity to be engaged with them and you'll be able to tell them all about the program. If you don't live in one of the states that we're at, right now, currently, um, that doesn't mean that you can't become a rep because you probably know people in the states that we're in. Everyone knows someone in New York, Illinois, or even Maryland, right? So who do you know? You call someone in, in North Dakota or California, say, who do you know anybody in New York, Maryland, or Illinois? Well, guess what? Do you know anybody else that knows people in Maryland? And, and that's how you can kind of grow your team because just because we're not in California right now or Florida right now doesn't mean that we won't be in the future. So if people are building nationwide, they're setting themselves up for a big team that they'll grow exponentially as time goes on. Who are some good consultants? Really kind of easy people that get it right away. Small business owners, you know, chamber of commerce, solar reps, anybody who sells solar right now loves this because a lot of times they'll walk out of a house empty handed because something didn't work out, but now they don't never have to walk out empty handed. Anyone in sales, real estate, insurance, anyone who's kind of an entrepreneurial person, uh, there's really no, there's no one that you shouldn't talk to about this because it, it can appeal to every single person out there. It fits pretty much every vertical without disrupting their daily mode of operation with their current position and what they're doing. So it is just the beginning. We're gonna be a huge business, we already are pretty simple. Um, so sign up three customers this week, earn your fast track bonus and qualify for the global pool all in one foul swoop. And you're able to start bringing on new people. So we have webinars every week. Send that link off to your prospects, get them on here, invite as many people on here as possible. Folks, that's it. That's all I got. Um, I apologize, I went a little long, but